Iran's hardliners had warned them to stay away, but tens of thousands of defiant opposition supporters hit the streets of Tehran in their first mass demonstration in nearly two months. What followed was a tense face-off. Opposition supporters still protesting the June 12th elections on one side, pro-government crowds on the other. Paying the price for showing up, former President Mohammad Khatami. A reformist website reports the opposition figure lost his turban when he was roughed up. The green-clad opposition supporters made their comeback on Quds Day, a day that's supposed to be a show of solidarity for the Palestinian cause. Inside Tehran University, President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad unleashed a tirade against Israel and the West. Today, the most important issue in the world is the issue of Palestine. If there is a conflict going on in Iraq, we believe that the conflict has been instigated by the Zionists. If there is a conflict in Afghanistan, the war has been provoked by the Zionists. Outside Tehran University, it was protesters giving the president a tongue lashing. Death to the dictator, they chanted as the president spoke. Supporters also blaring, no to Gaza, no to Lebanon, I'm giving my life to Iran. Making an appearance at the rally, opposition leader and former Prime Minister Mir Hossein Mousavi, perhaps the loudest and most aggressive critic of Iran's hardliners, Mehdi Karoubi, was there too. So was former President Ayatollah Hashemi Rafsanjani. In recent weeks, Iran's hardliners have called for the arrests of key opposition figures, on Friday, they showed up anyway. On June 12th, Iran's elections divided the country. Three months later, no sign of the two sides making peace. With Iran's supreme leader and most Iranian lawmakers now backing President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, the opposition movement doesn't appear to have many political options remaining on the table. But the big turnout on Friday, another indication analysts say that they will remain a force to be reckoned with, continuing to apply pressure to President Ahmadinejad. Reza Sayah, CNN, Islamabad.